Okay, morning folks. Um, it's just after six o'clock in the morning. Um, last night I still stayed in a place called Villa Vuerte. Or Villa Vuerta, can't remember now. Um, and a, a wee albergue called Casa de la Magica, or Casa de la Magica. Um, it was really, really nice. A nice little place. Um, for any vegetarians uh, out there that might consider doing this, stop at it. Um, it has been the only vegetarian albergue that I've seen and apparently it's like real vegetarian it's not like um, Hamon de Soriano or that is is counted as you know it's, it's it's in a different class with someone over here so um yeah it was actually vegetarian food I didn't join them for dinner but apparently it was quite nice um this morning I'm pushing on um I'm gonna see how far I can get and see if I can keep on target for Lagrano um by the end of tomorrow uh yeah Welcome to day seven of my Camino. Alright, so I've arrived in Estella. Um, it's a very, very pretty place. Um, one thing I am looking for when I'm here is there's a font which, instead of giving you out water, gives you out wine. Um, so I want to stop by it and um, get a couple photographs there as well. Just something for um, my uh, stepfather in law, Jared, who um, works in the wine trade and uh, he's very very passionate about his wine so if I had a bottle I would have brought him some home but uh, I don't think I'd be allowed it on the plane so I'll go and find it get a wee bit of video of it and then it's somewhere where him and um, mother-in-law Kathy can come and visit Jared, um, especially for you, this is where I've made it to you, the font that gives you wine. Um, there is a choice between wine and water. Um, I don't know which you'd really prefer. I'm guessing it's going to be this top. Um, I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm going to have some water, I'm going to eat some bread, um, and then I'm going to continue on. Um, there's also a museum uh, wine here as well. Uh, the the monastery that used to be here, I believe, closed down, um, which is a bit disappointing. There's also a church just up on the hill behind me, which I might have we look at before I head on. Uh, the day's getting warmer. It's still relatively early, but um, it is getting warmer. Um, the temperatures are supposed to be high for today and tomorrow. Of course, they're going to go down on Friday, just after I leave. But um, 
hey, it is what it is. You've got to work with what you got. So, have we rest now, eat up, take some ibuprofen, and then keep going, see where we get to. So I've stopped beneath um, some trees here. I'll tilt this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, for a bit of shade and to have a bit of bread and some water before I continue on. This is pretty much my breakfast for the day. Um, the supermarkets weren't open on the way up. Um, so this is literally the only thing I got whenever I was in getting my coffee. Um, the ironmongers that I was just at where I got my stamp for today, well, for here, actually, um, which shows that it, from Rackham's Valleys to here, it's been 100 kilometers, um, which gives you a wee sort of bit of a, a shiver, uh, a wee bit of warmth um, inside to know that you've, you've made it this far. Um, it's over 127 kilometers. Not bad going. Um, not brilliant going, but not bad going, considering I'm slightly behind my target. Uh, the, the problem that I'm facing today is that there's a really long stretch where there is nothing. There's no shade, um, there's no water fountain, there's no shops, there's nothing. Um, and I was just decided while I was here, I would just check. So. Um, I'm about to go down the hill into Arache, which is alright, that's not far away. Then it's 5.3 kilometres to the next town, um, which that's not so bad at this time of day. It's, it is around like 24, 25 degrees, so it's, it's getting warmer, but it, it's not that bad. Um, then it's a small, small bit to, it's about another kilometre and a half, two kilometres to the next town. But after that, there's nothing for nearly 12 kilometers. Um, that's going to be the real challenge. Um, getting to Los Arcos might not happen. Uh, not today, anyway. By the time I get to the town before that, the sun's going to be up really high. It's going to be really warm. Anything on my back is going to be cooked including my back. Uh, the water's going to be warm, which is, you still got to drink it. You still got to keep water in your system. Um, so it's going to be difficult. I'll have to, I'll have to wait until I get to that town. Um, Villa Mayor de Montchardin or something. Uh, Villa Mayor, we call it. Um, I'll, I'll judge it from there if I get that far. I still have quite a bit to go before I get there. So, fingers crossed. Wonderful view. Yes, included in the price. Oh yeah. 